It must be jelly cause jam don't shake that way. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it must be. Hey, Pop. Hey, good morning, son. I'll have your breakfast ready in a jiff. That's even shorter than a jiffy. <laughs> Sit down. Well, look, never mind. I already had some breakfast, but there's something that I want to do and I need your help. What's that? Well, you know that old tub that's been sitting out there in the yard for the last two years, just taking up space? You mean that tub that Mrs. Bug's dog Chi Chi had her puppies in? That's the one. <laughs> uh, don't tell me Chi Chi is pregnant again. I don't know, Pop, but if she is, she's gonna have to find another spot to deliver in. Now, listen, I want you to come out there and help me load the tub on the truck so we can take it down to the dump and dump it. Listen, son, you know I can't lift no tub with my arthritis and my bad heart. There's nothing wrong with you. What are you giving me? I ain't giving you nothing, but I know what you're trying to give me. A hernia. <laughs> I'll do most of the lifting, okay? Listen, even if you do most of the lifting, see, that's what happened to your friend, you know, Haley, Haley Mayfield. That's what happened to him. He lifts something heavy, and it broke, got broke down in his back, and he, now he walks all bent over like this. <laughs> the only people he can look straight in the eye is midgets. <laughs> He's in, he's in misery. I'm telling you, the only good thing about it is when he walk down the street like this, he find a lot of coins. Are you coming? Listen, I could go out there, that tub could follow me and crush me to death. I said, are you coming? The tub could follow on both of us and crush us to death, then there wouldn't be no more sap in the sun. There'd be nobody and nobody. One, two, three. What you counting to? Ten. Four. Five, well, six. Well, what's going to happen when you reach 10? The television is going in the pawn shop. Seven. OK, all right, all right, all right. I help you. Raise the tub. Now, getting rid of this tub is just the beginning, Pop. We're going to get rid of all of this miscellaneous, extraneous debris once and for all. How do you expect to attract customers to a place that looks like this? Listen, Lamont, we run the junkyard. It's not a barbecue pit. A junkyard is supposed to be junky. Grab the end of that tub while I take the tailgate out, all right? Well, I better get all this stuff in this bed. Oh! <laughs> now what? There's a body in that tub. Hey, you're right. Somebody dumped a body in there, Lamont. We in trouble. Who is it? I don't know, Pop, but he's white. Oh, I know we in trouble. I know we in trouble now. Listen, listen, now wait a minute. Now don't panic. Now, don't panic, Pop. You're not supposed to panic. Listen, when I find a dead white man in my yard, I do what comes natural. I panic. <laughs> oh. I wonder who he is. Well, if you find out, write me at my sister's place. Because it's goodbye, California. Hello, St. Louis. <laughs> Mr. Sanford, uh -huh. I'm Nelson B. Davis of the Davis Funeral Home. Oh, yeah. I was told that you have some caskets that you wish right. to sell. Come on in, Mr. Davis. Thank you. Uh, this is my father. How do you do, Mr. Sanford? <laughs> you must excuse my cold hands. Cold hands, warm chapel. <laughs> a little joke in my profession. As funny as a train wreck. Now, that'll get you some business. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Say, mm. Mr. Davis, the coffee's ready. Oh, yes. Ain't nobody in there. Dummy checked. <laughs> May I ask if you might know who the last owner happened to be? It was a little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> Little joke for my profession. Would you stop there, <laughs> Say, kid, don't put your feet up on my good couch. <laughs> don't let that rest of kid have a piece of cake. This couch is for drinking. <laughs> what did you do with that tablecloth I brought you? I don't know, Aunt Hazel. It should be here with all the rest of the presents. Well, it's not here. Well, I don't know. It's supposed to be here with the rest of the presents. Or maybe you didn't think it was good enough for you. Pop! Have you seen our tablecloth? Yeah, it's here on the table. We're using it. <laughs> using the wedding presents before they're even married. Now we can't even take them back. Well, I didn't get married. Don't look at I'll me. I'll buy you another tablecloth, Aunt Hazel. Oh, no, no, no. It's only me, your old aunt. 
and my gift was the first one they used, and now I can't ever take it back. Well, I'll take the cheese board back. Uh, Paul, no, I mean, come on, take my toast back. Hey, take them back. Come, come on, on, you, on you children, and tell me. They don't want Come on, come on. Take it. All right. Say, what are you people doing? What are you just stop here? Would you just stop it? You tell them, son. What's the matter with you people? I don't believe you. I just had the shock of my life less than an hour ago, and what are you all doing? You're standing around here worrying about your dumb wedding presents. Well, I don't want you or your presents in my house for another second. Oh, well, oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> It's me, Pop Lamont. Lamont who? Lamont Sanford. Never heard of him. <laughs> Listen, Pop. Now, you're Fred Sanford. Who's he? That's you, Pop. <laughs> Never heard of him. Listen. Now, you're Fred Sanford, and I'm Lamont Sanford, see? And we live together at 9114 South Central Avenue. Where's that? That's in Los Angeles, Pop. Los Angeles. <laughs> Where's that? That's in California, Pop. Never heard of it. <laughs> Why don't you leave me alone anyway? You're beginning to bother me. Hey, nerd! Pop, listen to me now. Now try and remember. You see, me and you, we have a business together. See, we got a junkyard, and, and, and we got a house next to that, and we got a red pickup truck. Yeah? And, and outside, there's this big sign. What does the sign say? The sign says Sanford and Son. Never heard of him. Why'd you get him out of here? Stop bothering me. Hey, nerd! 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 Hey, Pop, don't you remember anything? Don't you... Listen, don't you remember the little room where we have our breakfast and our supper and where we talk? Our little room. You remember? A room? Yeah. But a table. That's right, a table. What else? And two chairs. Two chairs. Go on, Pop. And over in the corner? Yeah. What's in the corner, Pop? A new color TV. <laughs> No? No color TV? No color TV. <laughs> Say, listen to me, Pop. Now, as soon as you're well enough, I'm gonna take you out of here. I'm gonna take you home. I don't wanna leave this place. I like it here. But I'm gonna take real good care of you at home, Pop. I'm gonna take you out of here. That's nice, son. Son! You call me son, then you remember who I am. You're from the Red Cross. <laughs> You're the one with the candy bars. You got a baby Ruth on you? <laughs> you ain't got no baby Ruth on you? <laughs> well, listen, Pop. I want you to try to get some sleep now, all right? Now come back in here and I'll see you later. But before I go, I want you to take one more look at me. Now do you know who I am? I think so. Oh, that's great. Well, I'm not gonna say no more, Pop. Now, you just get some rest, and I'll come back and see you some other time. Bye, Pop. 
Bye, Melvin. <laughs> Hey, Pop! You up there, Pop? <laughs> Where did you get that ridiculous looking outfit? And where have you been? Now, you were supposed to help me unload the truck and you just disappeared. Allow me to answer your second question first. <laughs> to begin with, you don't ask a gentleman who has just won $600 to help you unload. <laughs> the gentleman is already loaded. <laughs> he's trying to find his own way of unloading the load he's loaded with. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, and to answer your first question, this ridiculous outfit was purchased at Phil's Fashion Box. It said it was very popular at the Kentucky Derby. You mean the roller derby. <laughs> it's also my traveling outfit. Traveling outfit? Where could you possibly be going in that ridiculous getup? Where would you go? Go somewhere and have some fun, take a trip. What would you do with six big ones in your pocket? I mean, five big ones, because I left one big one at Phil's fashion box. Well, I guess I was wrong. I thought you were going to be smart about it and put that money in the bank. You know, there's more important things that we could use that money for than, than a trip. Well, you name something more important than taking a trip, and maybe I won't go. All right. The truck could use four new tires. This house could stand a new paint job and some decent furniture. And I, for one, could use a new outfit myself. What do you say now? I'll drop you a postcard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aww. You know what I like about you, Darlene? Hmm. You're willing to forgive and forget. Mm. But you don't have to worry about a thing, my dear. This is an entirely new situation that we're about to embark upon. Uh, it is? Yes. Where's your father? Well, get him. He's upstairs sleeping. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Mm. Sweetheart, hmm? you know what? What? I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, well, there's some cold chicken in, in the refrigerator. Would you like to have that? Anything. Uh, and, uh, and we can have a, 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 some cold Chablis. It's a very interesting dry white wine that goes well with just about anything. And then I'll come back out here and just don't go away. Be right back. Ow! <laughs> Thank you.